until if they spot me. Please, please, spare me some coin. Oh, if you have none, let me. Eivor of England. Sent for me, said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eva. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Sinrich's daughter now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth, that I find more honor and courage in you, Ivar, a northern invader, than in my own king. 
Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. I gave Bernard to Charles as a bridge to an alliance. Yes, well, the boy barely lasted a day with that betrayer before running back to Richardis. Where is the Queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. I will find Richardis. I am duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. You are an honorable man, Count Odo. If I have a chance to kill Charles, I will. And in so doing, you will have sealed an alliance between the people of your clan and all the peoples of Francia. First, I must seek out Richardis in Amiens. Then go, Eva the Wise. My prayers will ask the Lord to guide that blade of yours. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. Stretch your wings sooner. about this land, my friend.
These men must have been the Queen's Guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. It's a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. your eyes, my friend. I know it! The bastard princeling is around here somewhere! Bernard is here. <laughs> they will attack on sight here. No! Oh. 
I won't go back to my father. Something is wrong with him. Quiet, boy. I'm not going to take you to Charles. Not again. But last time... This is different. How did you escape? I snuck through the villa wall where there's construction. I climbed. Then I found Richardis at the tavern. I did it all on my own. Where is Richardis? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisse. I will see to Richardis. I can help. I know... things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It'll be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up to it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. My feet ache. The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. They won't be. The wall is being repaired. And I've pinched the sleeper through here.
It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. We will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this diable. Back to hell where it belongs! Life! Stand aside, Bishop! Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop! Or I will kill you again! The Lord scared me! I am his wrath! Thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I think you want the pain. You like it. I want it. I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lizeux. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. 
Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles, so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has felt here in Francia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. I will burn you! I know your fear! I have fire! I'm not him. I'm not the king. Gods. <laughs> this kingdom is riches beyond my wildest mushroom cap dreams. The bedroom of the king and queen. Like it has never been touched. Could be Charles's wedding ring. Why is he not wearing it?
try these on the main hall door. The angel, the, the saint, the one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> But I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers.
fire. I done to you? It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and a mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Richard is yet lives. Charles does not. And when Francia's nobles back me to be their next king, you can count on a pack of friendship between us, Eva the Wise. That makes today a day for our celebration! Skull! 
score. Santé! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any Northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? The future is a mystery. Whether Odo will even attain his ambition is unclear. Then how am I to proceed? I cannot tell you that. You are the leader of your people now. Your instinct will determine their future. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more y'all like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Tog. You must have heard about Charles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Frankia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. What do you want to do? Back to England? To England. Off we go then. Oh. 
are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles V. Odo, the Count of Paris, needs to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrich's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> It's Walden, I tell you! Don't be thick, Bron! Everyone knows Odin leads the Wild Hunt. Eivor! Who leads the Wild Hunt? Odin. Why? I was explaining to him the way of Oscar Eight. This one wants to turn it into a pageant. Not a pageant, a parade. Oscaria isn't a celebration. True. You are wise to be wary of the gods. I don't. I've seen both no. times. You're right. And with your help. And with uh, goods. I have. I go. My. Mate. Was that? 